Oh, good afternoon, folks. Just a bit of an update in the back garden. Right, there's me grow bags ready for the tomatoes and cucumbers. I'll take some of these down the allotment. I've got about another 20 in the warehouse. So, there I'll be putting four tomato plants. I'll put Crimson Crush there because they are an outdoor tomato. <laughs> But not just yet, another week maybe. Yeah, my compost ready for me hanging baskets. So I've got what, one, two, three, four, five. I've still got half a pallet load of those as well. Garlic. It don't grow so well in pots, really, I think. Just can't get big enough, but it does me what it does. Beetroot ready to go out. There's mint. You just can see all of the pots red. <laughs> Tulips there, dead. They're going to be thrown away. They've had it, they've done now. That's when we, the wife decided to put the big onion there, but uh, it won't grow at that. So that will be planted up. Another one there. There's the last of the big onions to go down the plot. Few more pots there ready, which will be used for flowers. Early, early potatoes. Now, these are Pentland Javelin, the ones in blue. For easy reference for the wife, so if she wants to know what your early potatoes, I'll say the blue ones. And there we've got some, one with a green label. And what's that? Oh, yeah, you can see that. Let's see what the green label is. That's a Charlotte. So, if she wants them, I said, yeah, green label. So, along here, got these ready to... Whoops, there you go. Got these ready today. Take down the allotment, ready for the tomatoes. They have a quad rows, quad grow, not quad row bikes. <laughs> So they'll go down four of those. Four pots there ready for the tomatoes to grow outside with the halos. <coughs> but I need one more, but uh, that's all right. And along here, I always grow a few French beans. A bush, don't know what it is. And then along here, grow a few more beans try sweet peas but never grow for me peonies and then here main crop potatoes no sorry they're charlotte because they've got a green tag they're starting to come through a bit so hopefully now all the frost is gone and these are with a red tag. See what these are. They're Carl and they're cracking white potato. Good for everything. If you can see the canes, what I do, I put string across just to stop the leaf foliage coming over onto the rest of the garden and on the grass. It helps a bit and keeps it tidy. There's another one there. Here, next door, back's garden, eh? It's a mess. I keep putting the weed killer down very close, if you know what I mean. Rhubarb's a bit scrawny, but it'll grow. More potatoes. We have a pink there, look. And they just coincidental, or pink fir apple. So, it was only coincidence. It wasn't done by put on purpose. There's another first early then with a bloke. I suppose it makes sense if you said, 
I'll tell us to go and get a blue pot or a red pot, pink pot, whichever. More peonies, peonies, peonies. Uh, this is ready. All to be planted, just a bit of another rake over. The dogs tread it down. So, but there you are. When in here is where I'll grow three cucumbers, which they probably go in this weekend now, I think. And more stuff here. And that's nothing really. So that's a back garden ready. Grass. We've even got silver paint. Silver lawn, look. How's that? My wife sprayed something and she always does it on the grass. It's never mind, it'll grow out. Uh, but I've installed. Yeah, I'm not there. See, there is my old tomatoes from last year. I'll use that compost later on for something else, probably to top up the veg drug. <coughs> and there. And then a bit of blood fish and bone in it. Keep it going. Well, I've installed a new automatic watering system, a Gardena Smart. It was over £100, but the beauty on it is, when we're on holiday, I can turn it on and off whenever I want. And we've got CCTV cameras, so I can always have a look, see how dry everywhere looks. And just sit there in the pub, note the pub and not the calf, and uh, just water merrily away. So, there we go. So, <coughs> oh dear, excuse me. Right, well, I think that'll do us for a quick update here. I was going to say something else, but it's gone. Little old grey cells are not working proper. Uh, but that's life. Wood down, logs down there, look for the fire pit. Might light back tonight. I sit outside with a few cans as it's a weekend, supposedly. Right then, folks, I hope you enjoy that bit, enjoyed that bit of a walk around the back garden. So, there's a long view of it. So, if you've enjoyed, Give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment. And please, if you've not subscribed, why not? And you'll get to see every exciting episode. <laughs> right, thanks a lot, guys. Take care. Bye. I might even take you down the allotment. We'll see. Anyway, cheers for now. Well, folks, just a quick <laughs> add-on. Got two little treats on there for the dogs. That's Bailey. Where is Jasper? Hello, Jasper. Hey, what are you two wanting? Hey, you wanting your treats, aren't you? Hey, and this one here, the little look at him, he's as cute as anything. Butter won't melt in your mouth, will it? Right. This must be the first time you've seen them, whether they're not doing misbehaving. Right, catch you later, guys, and girls. Yeah, see you all later. I have to show you that. Two happy dogs, look. Jumping on the little treat. Oh, yeah. And I'm sitting here having a quick drink before tea gets here. A lot of Chinese tonight. I'm having Singapore chow mein and Singapore rice. I like it spicy. Hey, that's Jasper. He, he's my dog, he is. Shadow. Right, catch you later.